Hi, my name is Josh, and I am a Wargaming Noob. And here it is, SPQR is Caesar's Legion's Heroes. These are the characters, the named guys, the famous guys for your Caesar's Legion's army for SPQR. In this box, you're going to get six figures, and you're going to get Julius Caesar, you're going to get Mark Anthony, you're going to get Marcus Crassus, and Pompey Magnus, and of course, can't forget Titus Pulo and Lucius Verinus. They're most famous from uh, the TV show Rome. So if you are a fan of that show, you get the opportunity to play those heroes in your SPQR uh, season, Caesar's Legion, in the SPQR's Roman Legion uh, faction. Let me turn this over. Let me get a little bit closer here. These are uh, these were released in metal for Hail Caesar, so you can use these in Hail Caesar. Uh, these are cast in. Um, uh, a new type of resin, so uh, they're going to be easier to put together. In fact, I think they're all just complete figures, except for Julius Caesar and um, Pompey the Great. So we'll see once we open this up, but uh, it's going to be very easy to put together because they are resin, uh, unlike the metal originals. So uh, in this set you get all six figures, and then you'll get the uh, corresponding stat cards. So. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we'll take a closer look and see what's inside. So, uh, for such a little box, you get quite a few things here. Um, your bases. Now, you're not limited to using these bases. Obviously, you can use whatever base you'd like, but um, these round bases are kind of neat. And these are the stat cards. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll take just a quick look at these. So this is a stat card for just like a generic hero in SPQR. You can play 50 Denarii and you'll get the infantry hero. Um, if you got the two player starter um, for this, uh, this is already included with the hero that was included in that box. But again, you know, it doesn't hurt to have an extra stat card for that. Next up, Pompey Magnus himself, level three cavalry hero. And with that, a higher cost in terms of um, fielding him in your army. Talents and equipment, this is what makes him more expensive. And then his uh, stats. He's got a special ability, Wealth of Rome. Has deep pockets and is willing to spend it on capable allies. If Warband wins a battle with Pompey in it, he will spend a fortune to see it enjoy continued success. The Warband will immediately receive an amount of denarii equal to half the denarii value of the enemy warband that has just been beaten. So uh, with SPQR, it is a you know character-based campaign type game. So uh, as you win or lose, uh, your expansion of your army in the game uh, is dependent on, on the victory or the defeat because uh, you get a certain amount of um, denarii to, uh, to expand your army. So uh, next up, I'm going to just rearrange these because these, these aren't in order. We have Tedis Pulo and Lucius Verinus, most famous from the TV show Rome. So, again, talents, equipment, a little blurb about Lucius Verinus. He's a 100 denarii, he's level 3 infantry hero. Very cool looking figure. Looks every bit the centurion that he should. Duty is all. His special ability, Varinus was a staunch believer in the Republic. Varinus and any units he leads will re-roll any failed bravery checks. And here are his stats. Alright, next up we have Titus Polo. He's level 2. There are his talents and his equipment. He's 75 denarii. And you know, for me, I think I would play both of them together since in the show they were mostly together. Uh, or fought together. And here's his heroic rashness. Titus is involved in close combat with any enemy unit. As led by a hero, he must pass a bravery check or be forced to challenge the hero. Furthermore, if a unit Titus is leading flees from combat, he must make another bravery check. If he fails, he will not flee and will leave the unit to stay in close combat. 
That goes for his his brashness in combat. There are his stats. Alright, next up. We have Marcus Crassus, the richest man in Rome at the time. He is the most expensive figure in this set at 225 denarii. He is a level 8 infantry hero. He's got quite a few talents and equipment. The curious and sword for his equipment. I'm kind of um, puzzled as to why he's not mounted, but you know, when he invaded Parthia, it's possible that <laughs> this is the version of him right before he was defeated by the Parthians. His ability, weakness of others, Crassus is adept at spotting an opponent's weak point and exploiting it. Before any melee checks are made during a melee action, Yvonne Crassus, he can choose to cancel out any number of an opponent's parries by expanding his own on a one-for-one -one basis. Interesting. And obviously, stats. Alright, we're gonna go to... Mark Antony. Level 6 in infantry hero. Got a few talents there, he's 175 denarii. Up, Pluto's Ars. The men serving under Mark Antony would become fanatically loyal if any unit in Mark Antony's warband fails a will to fight check within 12 of him. Instead of being removed from the table, they will perform an immediate and free move action. They must move as close to him as possible, and this will count as fleeing from close combat. However, any casualties gained that's misspelled gained from this will not cause another will to fight check. And obviously, there are his stats. All right, the big man himself, the guy that we've all been waiting for, Julius Caesar, 180 denarii, level five cavalry hero, quite a few talents, uh, equipment, standard for uh, mounted cavalry hero. Tactical mastery, after forces are deployed, but before the battle begins, Julius can make an opposed bravery check with any enemy hero of his opponent's choice. For every point by which Julius Caesar wins, one enemy unit of his choice can be removed from the battlefield. At the start of every turn after the first, the enemy unit can attempt a bravery check. If successful, it can be moved onto the table in that turn from a table edge in its deployment zone. If no such table edge exists, Julius Caesar's player can choose which table edge it will arrive from. And then, obviously, his stats. Definitely very cool looking figure. Alright, now we are done with the cards. We're going to go to the meat and potatoes of this set. And that's the figures themselves. I'll get this up closer. This is packed by Becky. Thank you, Becky. There you are. Let's see if I can get into this box or into this clamshell. Ah, here we go. So, once again, thank you, Becky. And I've quite a few components here, so I'm just going to spill them all out and we'll take a quick look. Cavalry bases. Here's Crassus. Wow, very well detailed. I like it, just a little bit of cleanup of the flash, like on his blade. But wow, that looks pretty good. Here's Caesar, already mounted on his horse. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry, this is Pompey, mounted on his horse. One piece, that's awesome. I don't know if the metal one, the original one from Hail Caesar, was mounted. But uh, this really will cut down on the work. God, the detail is really good with this resin here. Okay, so here is Titus Pulo. Again, another very well detailed figure. Just three pieces. And here is. Lucius Farinus, three pieces. There's his little Gladius blade. Comes at head. It's pretty nice. Here is Mark Anthony. It's weird that everything else came kind of on a, a sprue, but not Mark Anthony. Marcus Antonius. Very well detailed figure. It's great. And then, of course, actually, here's a shield. I think this is Titus Pulo's shield. Present. And then finally, the big man himself, 
Julius Caesar. So um, the strange thing about this is body and horse, but you got to glue the head and his arm raised in the Roman salute. But again, very well detailed. You know, I don't know if um, the garland on his head is historically accurate, but anyway, I think most people would know that he had a garland on his head, or at least like have an image of him with a garland on his head, but at the time of the, that the game is set, at least for the Roman legions faction, it would be the Civil War, so I don't think he would be wearing a garland. But in any case, still a cool, beautiful figure. And I'm going to enjoy putting this together. All of them. And then having to decide who I'm going to play, because these are all excellent choices as commanders for your SBQR skirmish warband. What more can I say about the SBQR Caesar's Legion's heroes? Um, what's great about this is the cost. It's, it doesn't cost that much to get all six of these heroes. In fact, for a Hail Caesar, you would have to buy these Separately, I'm not even sure they had a Titus Pulo or Lucius Verinus uh, figure for Hales either. I'm sure I could look it up. I don't know, but the fact that you're getting six figures for uh, such a good cost, and the cost will vary depending on where you purchase it. I got this uh, for a fair price on Amazon. Uh, if you go to your local gaming store, it might be a little bit more, but still, the fact that you get all these heroes for that um, low cost. Uh, it makes it a great value, um, especially if you are playing SPQR and Hail Caesar, because uh, obviously you can use these figures for Hail Caesar as well. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more unboxing videos from More Gaming Noob.